Make me your blind with your civil rights You demand that I eternize your name Walk ahead To stop and obey now, this is one thing, right, on Zeke, being the IGL now, maybe he's some more structure here to the G2 side. We get to see what he might be able to start off with, but Fake Q comes in straight away, and he starts off with a strong ghost kill. You see him playing around a bit here as Mixwell's going to be able to take advantage. They've gained control back onto the site, and they're actually going to force him away. So Frenzy go kill. They don't want to stick around here. They're going to bundle their way backwards, but it's quite an easy map for G2 to rotate on. And already we're seeing they're not fully rotated out of the B site just yet. So Frenzy go kill. They've got some work to do on trying to bring this back into an advantageous position, and maybe they'll try and do the double dupe in here. That's definitely interesting. You know, straight away they baited out that Molotov, and I probably wasn't intentional Patatech playing there with the brim but the timing was perfect they go back and then they come back to the a site causing the rotates leaving g2 with very little to say about this they get it in time Ooh. but vax good for one out in the open mixwell sticks around a little too long overstaying his welcome and getting dropped leaving it all down to just two members of g2 to get back into this site oh what a great stun zeke can't do a damn thing and with pith stuck in this fight up into heaven the flash was perfectly timed sender getting it in there there was no Nothing Pith could do to put 1 0 on the board. Palatex keeps himself in a good spot, but Machina is going to try and push on up fast. He manages to take down Mixwell, but can they capitalize on this? Boys oh, position, it wasn't checked straight away, and Palatex straight in, double headshots, locks him down. Flames go at their feet as well. He tries to spray it out. I know Can't quite exactly connect fully where you onto are. Fake U, but now the side ball is going to come into Mix. He's going to get the extra information in there, and Artis, he's going to capitalize off wherever he can now to push on forward. Bramage's new position could be huge, but that all that's a problem. Not one he's able to avoid. Bramage tries to catch him. No one on G2 is actually sticking around. You saw a different style of wall off. Normally we see the wall be placed straight across the mid, and it can often be broken down, especially since the wall for quite some time now has been lowered in what it can take. Especially when it initially goes up, it can be quickly destroyed. So I like the way G2 are trying to utilize it here. It's forcing them to play into their hands, and right now it's forcing them to play into Mixwell. No flashes going out, and Mixwell lands the first big kill. Nades are going out towards him, but he's picking on kills. Even Dash is out to not take the grenades of Mixwell. He's ripping them apart. He's feeling confident. He's won them all. He's taking them down, and there's only one more to find. He knows exactly where he is. Can't land the shot, but he's not sticking around. He's not going to give it up to him, and he wants to make sure this is still possible. Mixwell, no! He goes out for it again. The TP. He's got the spike. He's got the TP. And Pith now has to try and clutch this out. I understand. One hell for the dream. Spike planted. He went for it because he had the dash. He'd gotten it back up, so he thought, oh, look at the timing. This guy's walking with his knife out. The brains, the balls, but he's spotted oh. by the cam. And Pith wins the fight, but for a 4K that they left it unprotected. A little bit of action going on here, though, James. We're missing out on it, but on the A site, <laughs> we see it eventually. They're rushing in. They're getting some kills. And for Frenzy, that's all they want. They want to get that spike down and probably avoid close range fights, considering the buy they're up against. Yeah, Brams is going to get walled off here. He's not choosing to break it or give away his position just yet. But this is nice. There may be a chance for him here. Vac playing off the side. It's all going to come down to the timing. Oh, Ardis getting away with it. Shotgun power fully coming up. He's even trying to do it long range. Frenzy needs to be careful. And Ardis, even though he's stunned, he's still looking to do more damage. They're playing with each other for now, but they're going to try and now overwhelm Sender. He's stuck down the side. The knives come out. And Pip, well, he was already on the team. And then ended up winning 13 to 8. So it, it wasn't terrible on either side by any means. That was versus Big. Certainly not the same kind of team as G2. I think though, what they've shown us of their defense so far uh, in previous games, they should be decently capable. Mixwell, how does he get away with that? There was a flash out. It missed him. He turned his back and then spun in to get the kill. Oh, wow. Playing anti-flash doesn't always work out in this game. It's landed. It's more efficient than a an aftershock because they can't sit inside of it for as long. You sit in the molly for the same amount of time you would before leaving an aftershock and you're, you're already dead. You're dead twice probably. So it's, it's a really nice uh, utility decision from Riot to give him that because it just means Brim is much more likely to be picked even though we haven't seen him that much today. But I'm happy to see G2 deploy. Yeah. I think what we'll see probably against most of the very top teams is Brim integrated ever so slowly. But another talking point is how confident do people feel on using Brim where they're still maybe getting used to if they haven't played it at all. 
Back. He's up close. He's getting a kill. Exactly oh, no. what you want when you've got the classic. And now a two-man advantage to play with as well. They know exactly where G2 are. There's the aftershock. The late swing comes oh. in, but Patatek got blinded. Perfectly timed as they take him oh. down. But hold on. Zeke is here after hearing the blast back. Paranoia run away. I hope he doesn't pre-fire hit us. The classic. The right click still does damage. Exactly but not being as powerful as it once was, thankfully. Ryan have nerfed it a little bit, so it doesn't quite get the kill despite two players being low from G2. There's a lot to do for Frenzy Go Kill considering what they're working with. I mean, hardware wise, they're, they're broken. Oh, Pip, spraying away. <laughs> Can't quite connect all the shots he wants, but he does have the backup from his teammates. Good finish it off with the classic as well. And realistically, we didn't expect too much in this round. Rams and Sender picking up as much as possible, but even artists flashed a bit. Still he's just playing. out of play immediately. And uh, they had the right idea, but just wrong execution on it. Five rounds between them. Now Frenzy go kill. They've gotten one round on their defensive side. Now they need five in a row. So I'll let you go figure out how likely that is. But let's, let's give them a little bit of faith, even though they're up against a Blade Storm and a Showstopper yeah. of a G2 attack that has been looking hot so far. Taking a slow this time around. Mixwell back on the operator. Enemy kill. Oh, easy clap onto that. Get out of my way. No problem at all. Fake is gonna spot one out, but he doesn't want to stick around and fight. He needs some backup for sure. Oh, this is there with the ult. Will miss it, but still gets the kill. He reads it perfectly. Careful. He loves to say he walks on water, what he certainly is in this game. Can he keep this up from start to finish? It's likely so. The T2 are pushing on by. Sender wants to try and take advantage of it, but it's not going to happen. And Machina, but he misses a key shot. There's more players around him. He's trying to land the ball, but Anatech puts him down. 13-7, and G2 pick up their map Bailing. pick. Running towards the A site, where they've got it stacked up because they've seen that Viper wall come down straight away. Now, G2 have put a Viper wall of their own straight down. This covers basically any peak from coming out. It gives you an advantage in the pixel fights. They've got a push, they've got a flank, but hold on. Frenzy go kill. They're already on the A side. They've overwhelmed it, but the mid push then up behind is where Mixwell can do some damage. They crunch in on the Brams and take him down. The trades are worthwhile as they end up in a 2v1. This has been a hectic round. This is one I would love to pause, rewind, and analyze, but we can't get there just yet because Vax in a 1v2 already got a headshot connected with the Frenzy, but look at his HP. He's so low. That's a risky dash by Mixwell. 0.75. No, he's using a frenzy. That's one. Now, I do wonder, there's the second time we've seen both of these walls put down. Now, again, just to break into the B wall a little bit, you can push that down, peek in on the right side. So you've got a right side peek. You can see straight down past the wall. It means nobody can cross that wall. If you cross it, they've got an immediate advantage on you as you emerge from it. But Vac, he's crossed their wall over on the A side. Usually there's only one Viper wall. This is great. Panatek and Zeke pick up some kills and Frenzy go kill. Well, they are left a stumbling, a wondering what they can do. There's not a whole lot. Oh. Wow, okay. They are getting rolled on over here. No kills going their way. A flawless victory for G2 for the save, if anything. Oh, oh no. where did he get that no. one from? Is that the lurk? Did he get yeah? Oh, that's huge. So catching that frag, the problem is they don't know about this mid play. They don't oh. know about the Viper coming up behind who put the wall down earlier. They'll presume, having seen Sender, that that Viper is on the site, and that's when Brahms strikes from behind. The snake venom going on in, but Mixwell, he's quick with the blades. He catches the kill, and so we're into a 1v2. They can go from the... Oh, come on. He oh, wasn't dear. planting. Oh, Patatek's being baited there. He clearly wasn't planting. Now that ult orb is going to get him. The res, if he wants... It. The problem is for Sender, all these players are out in the open. That updraft was dangerous. So all those players are out in the open. That's why Mixwell is actually sticking around this area. As he comes past the body, now there's no way that res comes through. Even despite that, they're still looking to push B. This is madness. Well, Mixwell needs to be careful. And he dashes on out there while Piff is able to do some serious damage. It's exactly what he needed. Oh, Vac, ready and waiting for him. Pip pokes out and he goes instantly down. Why did he do that? Yeah, this is a huge chance now for G2, though. Even with Pip going down, one of the rounds where they finally got the numbers advantage, they can get a couple of back-to-back -back rounds in here. But with fake you. Popping his ultimate. 
Got some time left with the Empress. Last player standing. But still not able to find the kill. That's going to be the end of it all. Vac, operator in hand, plenty of time, but G2 won't be pushing him one by one at any point in this. Spike is down and Mixwell works his way around Yellow. Shuffle the deck. And it's still working out to a pretty reasonable extent for their first official. This is not a great start, to be honest, though. For no. G2, they've got better weapons. They've got the armor. Uh, and they're losing players. They're dropping like flies. They've got to be careful, right? Some mighty sheriff shots can be landed. Fake U wants to try and run himself back into the site. The wall goes up in front of him. Oh, we might be able to, oh, I like this. Play off the ropes, play off over the top, see if you can do it. The Sage Wall goes up, he's trying to fire while still on top of it, but he's not able to get it done. Spike planted. Last player the standing. rush round, the run and gun, send the pulls off the first one, but he didn't manage to pick up the Spectre that was on the floor. Oh, oh. She's in the decay, takes a lot of damage. <laughs> Nicely done for the pre-fire. Dips and energy, that's fantastic. I'll tell you who's not feeling dips in energy though. It's Vac, because he's still going aggressive after losing his dash in the early round. He keeps going, uh -oh. man. He's always looking for these close range fights, but it comes at a heavy cost with Mixwell taking him down the wall. Keep beating players oh. outside and Zeke. He saw the man born of Machina, took him down through the smoke and a 5v3 emerges. This is huge because they've also got the operator now as well g2 with ultimates online they're going they've got a res first of all but a hunter's fury in the post plant and that is a dangerous prospect in the best of times let alone when you've got a two-man disadvantage these a site explodes continues to work out across the attacking side for both teams and g2 right now are looking to cause a hell of a problem here for frenzy Fake Q's trying to find an advantage, trying to work his way out. Does find himself one kill to start off with, but Mixwell already in the back lines, bringing up extra kills. The dismiss is coming into fruition, but Zeke hunts him on down. He peeks, he sprays a little bit. He's not trying to kill someone, not from that range, but he's telling them, hey, I'm over here and I'm running to spawn. Come and get me. me. And then Fake you swings, takes it. That's the kind of gamble that if it doesn't pay off, you save the weapons, who cares? But if it does, oh, if it does, you win the round with plays like that from Fake you. Now, Vag does need to be careful because he's going to get run down. He was trying to take shots and didn't want to fall back. He stuck around for the fight. And well, he paid the price with his life. Now, with the numbers in their advantage, G2. They can make the next steps they want. Already, though, we've seen some of the Frenzy players start to get themselves into the site. Again, Piff, he's holding that lurker position. He's hiding in the back lines. And he's actually going to be able to walk his way through Tube. Will this be expected? Oh, this is huge. He's been able to gain so much ground. G2 can just wait for this. Wait for him to strike. There we go, he gets the first kill. That's a big pickup as well. That's a huge scalp to take. They're still not planting just yet. There's so many players everywhere. Mixwell goes in for it, jumps up high and wants to make it work. Machina all alone and Zeke will put an end to it all. My frenzy go kill, I'm loving what I'm seeing. I'm not just because Browns is playing the Viper, but I'll be honest, I'm enjoying that too. You know, he's getting brownie points for that. But of course, so too is Pith. So it's, it's I'm equally biased, it's okay. For 12 to 10, though, this is where G2 feel comfortable. They called that tack pause. I'm sure someone was getting a spanking during that. And now they're happy to <laughs> sit back. <laughs> a verbal one. A verbal one, Banks. Come okay, on. Get okay, your mind out of the goddamn gutter. <sighs> um, <laughs> just, just checking you, you know. Uh, but, yeah, I'm, I'm sure someone was getting given out to during that one because there were a couple of mistakes made. That is, that is very much clear. Uh, it, when it went 12 to 10 or 11 to 10. But now they're back on. They're... They're focused up and they're ready to go. And if you're G2, the A side is the, the bread and butter of what we've seen so far. It's traded out, though, even with a ghost in hand. But Sender is blocked out, Ooh. unable to help his teammate as Vac goes down. A man advantage now for G2 as they look to close this one out with the A post plan. Still a 3v3, though. And Artis, he's already taken a significant amount of damage. He does get healed back up, and that might be the real chance he needed. But, oh, Mixwell, he tries to go on the flank. But Brams, he was coming for the runaround. This could be exactly what they need. Fake you still finding more damage as well. And Frenzy Go Kill will not give up. They're not going down without a fight. Patatek has to come up huge, but he's stuck all down, all alone. Oh, it's not checked by Brams. Headshot's landed. Patatek looking to close it out, and he saves the day. 13 10, and G2 take the win. A huge clutch. 3v1 for Patatek.